Good morning, Harmony and Consolidated. Um, this is Mr. Calvert coming to you from my backyard again. Um, nice, beautiful day out. It might not be when you guys are watching this. I've been recording a lot of these ahead of time. Um, today, our artist of the day, his name is Victor Munez. Victor Munez. A lot of people just call him Vic Munez. Now, Vic, he is 58 years old, and he is a contemporary artist, which means that he is still living. And he comes from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, so he is actually not our first artist that we've learned about from Sao Paulo. We also learned about um, Edward, uh, Eduardo Cobra a couple weeks ago. He was the muralist who made artwork that kind of looked like kaleidoscopes. He was also from Sao Paulo, so a couple artists from the same city. And he is a sculptor as well as a photographer. So oftentimes he'll actually make these sculptures and then he photographs them and the photograph kind of becomes his work of art because a lot of times his sculptures don't last for forever he kind of like takes them apart when they're done um, but then he still has evidence of them by his photographs now growing up Vic really struggled to read and write this is something that he just wasn't very good at so he was really drawn to art because this is a way to actually help him express himself and you'll see this actually a lot with artists that oftentimes when they're growing up they weren't good at reading or they weren't good at writing so art was kind of their way of ex expressing themselves or communicating themselves um, so I find that interesting about Vic how he kind of um, used art as an outlet for him now Sao Paulo that's way down here in Brazil Okay, we would be right here at the tip of my mouse in Wisconsin. Now what Vic does is he typically takes um, like old paintings from, we call them the masters. Those are people like Leonardo da Vinci, like Michelangelo, like da, uh, Donatello. Um, he takes like artworks from these very old painters and then oftentimes he'll recreate them out of just everyday objects. He'll also do this with pictures of celebrities too, so like famous people um, that we might see on the TV. And some of the things he's made artworks from are tomato sauce, diamonds, he's used dirt or dust, he's used jelly, um, trash, and chocolate syrup, just to name a few. So he'll use kind of whatever he can find. And then as I said, when he's done with his artwork, then he photographs them. Um, a lot of times his artworks are pretty big too, and recently he, whoops, excuse me, recently, a couple years back I guess, he created a series out of um, trash, and what he did was he actually based the artworks on these people who would go out and dig through the garbage uh, for things to use and to sell, and then he actually took that money that he raised from his artwork and actually donated it back to these pickers, these people who um, didn't really have anything. So he kind of uses art for a good purpose. Now on the right, you can kind of see how he does this. He'll photograph somebody um, in a position or he'll take an old painting and then he recreates it out of whatever he decides to use. So this one we see um, is actually made from garbage. And this, I believe, was garbage from Rio de Janeiro. Um, is one of those uh, garbage pickers that I just talked about. So look at how incredibly detailed it is. And this is really, really big. Okay, this isn't like the size of the man. This is a very, very large um, artwork. Um, here we see another one. We see a lady. Once again, she is made out of um, garbage as well on the right side. So um, whatever he can find that people have thrown away. Uh, here we see one more. The basket does a really good job of showing. Um, some of those pieces of garbage, you can see them really well. Looks like some of the stuff um, on her arm and on her body is actually more like dust or dirt, um, from what I can tell. All right, but he doesn't just use garbage. I said he used lots of other things. This is one he used by, I believe, cutting up a bunch of little like magazine pages, like the background. I was kind of see, but they're actually like words on these white scraps of paper. I mean, I believe this is a self-portrait of Vic, but I could be wrong. It kind of looks like him. Um, here he did a portrait of a young black girl, and this is actually done in sugar, which I find kind of cool that the way he placed the sugar, he can create these highlights, these bright spots, as well as these shadows where it gets a little bit darker. And then my personal favorite, he did these two copies of the Mona Lisa. And if you look closely, this one on the right, it's kind of brownish colored. That is actually made from peanut butter. And then the one on the left, well, I mean, what goes best with peanut butter? Jelly. So we see um, a peanut butter and jelly Mona Lisa, which I thought was really cool and creative. Um, so this has been the work of Vic Muniz. I hope that you enjoy learning about him. Um, 
Be sure to keep working on your guys' artwork. If you still have things to do on the Matrix, make sure you're getting that done as well. I miss you all very much. Um, have a good day, guys.